Tonight in the Student Kitchen, we will be showing you how to prepare some of the best traditional post-night out meals, along with a few new ideas for simple, unhealthy diets. First of all, we'll be looking at the very popular Saturday night fry-up. I find that a lot of students seem lost in the kitchen after a night out, and will instead visit the takeaway before arriving home. This is really not necessary. <laughs> to begin with, you'll need to turn all of the oven hobs up to maximum setting, as you can never know at this stage how many you will need. If you can, try and move any cardboard or plastic rubbish away from this general area. Take at least one large frying pan, in most cases this will already be situated on the hob, scrape out most of the leftover food, and if you're feeling a bit fancy, give it a quick rinse under the cold tap. Place this back on the hob and add cooking oil. I find that pouring for about 3-4 to four moments gives the best results. Whilst this is heating, you should prepare the sausages, bacon and mushrooms on a pre-soaked plate from the sink. If packets need to be opened, remember that the most efficient way is to find the nearest sharp object, then jab and slice in forceful downward motions taking care not to stab yourself should the blade be pointing towards your chest. For any products that need to be defrosted, use full settings on the microwave for 3 minutes. This will fill the kitchen with an appetizing aroma of cheap boiling meat. Once everything is ready, slide it all into the pan. At this point, you may want to keep some additional ingredients, such as beans or tomatoes, to accompany the meal. Unfortunately, these tend to require additional clean pans, although you should usually be able to find pans recently used for similar ingredients. These do not need to be washed before use. Now that everything is cooking, use a general kitchen implement. A spoon like this is fine. Then prod and stir the ingredients until you decide that they are going to take a long time to cook. This is the perfect moment to leave the kitchen to make some much needed room for your post midnight feast. Most modern student houses will be equipped with smoke alarms that will indicate when the food is properly cooked. Try and disable the alarm as quickly as possible, as other housemates and neighbours do not need to be alerted to the readiness of your meal. The plate originally used to prepare the food should be the easiest to locate and rinse. Now, pour the contents of all pans onto the plate. You may need to scrape dried on beans, but the spoon you are using earlier, if available, is suitable for this task. This is now ready to eat, although the experienced student chef may want to quickly fry some eggs and slices of bread to soak up the remaining flavour in the pan. You can never really have too much oil when frying eggs and bread, so pour generously. Crack the eggs into the pan and add two to three slices of bread. As these will take a few moments to cook, you may want to add a little seasoning to pass the time. Eggs can be slightly tricky to remove from the pan at this stage, and the method used will change depending on what tools are available to fish them out. Remove the fried bread from the pan and carefully arrange on the plate. To finish, add a splash of the oil that has taken on the flavour of all those delicious fry up ingredients. Now, your meal is ready. I find that this dish is best served with a pint of water and a good night's sleep.